Hey there, today we will be discussing the 3DR Solo Drone. This is a flight review. Hey there everybody and thank you for visiting AdShot. If this is your first time or you are returning, we appreciate you viewing. Today we will discuss the 3DR Solo Drone and its capabilities. I will try to give you an honest review video and music made from scratch. Alright, well thank you for joining us today. We are in the desert. One of my most favorite places to be for many reasons. I just wanted to talk about the 3DR Solo Drone. I bought this drone uh, several years back. Uh, just about when it was about to retire. When the company said uh, we're done. And we are going to close up shop for the consumer and go strictly for commercial and uh, leave you guys all behind. Hey, but that's cool. I still fly it. Uh, it still has parts you can get uh, readily available online. So uh, what can I say? The 3DR Solo lives. So uh, we're going to give a little test flight here. We're going to drive uh, the van out in the middle of the desert. This is uh, middle of Nevada. And a wonderful place to test. Uh, here we go. I'll be driving right now. And one thing about the 3DR Solo, it just came with a massive controller. I mean, this thing is a two-hander for sure. And it even comes with a little uh, thing you can hook up a neck strap to in case this thing really got heavy, uh, which it does. And so when I'm controlling it with a iPad mini or some kind of small tablet, uh, it definitely is just super bulky and wears on the wrists over time. So as we are going on this flight right now, I noticed that I'm just not getting the footage I wanted. I was doing the driving and I was also trying to set up the shots with my buddy trying to hold the controller for me and it wasn't working very well. So I decided that we would switch it up. So I'm gonna take the passenger seat and I'm gonna get all situated. I'm gonna grab the controller. I am using a small tablet to control the 3 year Solo. And so I have a pretty good visual uh, of what the 3DR is seeing. So I'm able to frame my shots. So right now I've got myself into position. I have given the order and here we go. So we're going to get rolling down the road here. Uh, not too fast. The 3DR is capable of quite fast speeds. Up to 55 miles per hour. But that will affect your uh, camera and your gimbal. So the 3DR originally did not come out with any type of camera built into it. You had to use your own GoPro, where at which at the time I did own a GoPro 4 and I thought it was a great idea that I didn't have to get a more expensive drone uh, that had a camera built in at the time. So the GoPro 4 is filming at 4K 30 frames per second on a wide angle lens. This is why you're catching the feet of the drone or the propeller blades at the top you're catching those every now and then because the GoPro is filming in such a wide field of view it's actually not the best but it can provide some pretty cinematic shots so right here I'm getting some really amazing shots here until the legs come into frame but those can be edited out for the highlight reels but as you can see I'm just loving these shots I'm catching the entire mountain getting all those clouds and surrounding desert so again, the 3DR Solo Drone was billed as a smart drone when it first came out. It had all these built-in, preset shots you could fly, you could orbit, you could do waypoints, you could do cable cams, you could do all sorts of things that other drones just couldn't do at the time. And I thought at the time that this was going to be the one, this was going to be the one that shines through. But unfortunately, 3DR went the way of a lot of other drone companies. They felt the power of DJI, they couldn't hold in there even though they had a great product and they had a chance. So unfortunately 3DR abandoned their customer base, uh, their hobbyist flyers, and they went with a commercial platform uh, and basically that's all she wrote basically for 3DR Solo and the support. So as the 3DR Solo just fades away from existence it seems, why do a review on a drone that's gone, that nobody really flies anymore? Well, maybe there's a few of us that still have it. Well, you know, just to kind of show you exactly the where we came from, 
and where we're going with this follow me footage. So currently I'm using a Skydio 2 drone and this drone is amazing. It locks on to your current position either visually or by GPS and it sticks with you really good. All the while dodging obstacles with multiple cameras that are picking up everything around it. So I'm really blown away by this new drone. So by showing the old drone and what it's capable of, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. You get to see what the old one did, what the new one can do. And uh, please check out all my videos to make sure you've seen all my Skydio 2 footage. So as I wrap up this test flight with the 3DR Solo, it's really a cool drone. It deserves more credit. Um, it really has great range. Uh, it can fly at night. Uh, it can do a lot of things that uh, my new one cannot, but you know, we uh, apples and oranges here. So uh, one thing about this drive that I did is that I gained elevation. Now while the 3DR Solo is flying, it doesn't have any real idea of where the ground is. So when it went to land, it thought the ground was about 50 feet lower. Subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.